Okay, today I'm going to be testing my drone out in a high pressure chamber to see if it generates more lift. So the reason I'm doing this is because I made a video where I flew the drone in my vacuum chamber and showed that it can't fly in the vacuum chamber and as the pressure dropped, it generated less and less lift until it couldn't even fly. And so I assume that going the other way as we increase the pressure that we're going to be able to generate more and more lift. So this is my drone from my vacuum chamber video before. It's a cool little drone. So in order to know how much lift we're getting, I'm going to hook some beads to the bottom of this and we should be able to lift more and more beads off the ground the more lift that we're generating. So first I'm going to test it in just normal atmospheric pressure and see how high it can go. And then I'm going to pressurize the chamber and see if that creates any more lift. So we'll count the beads in each run here. Let's see how much the drone can lift in just atmospheric pressure. Three, two, one. Pretty steadily lift that much. Okay, so we'll call that good. Okay, now we're gonna pressurize the chamber Pressurizing chamber, three, two, one. Okay, we're at high pressure. Let's see what we got. Pressurized drone flying, three, two, one. Whoa, that's way higher. <laughs> that makes a huge difference. Try it again. Three, two, one. <laughs> so we get a lot more lift at these high pressures. If you watch my video when I put it in the vacuum chamber, you saw as the pressure decreased, the drone couldn't get up as high and eventually it couldn't even lift off the ground. So the other way around, you would, you would assume that when we increase the pressure in the chamber that it should generate more lift. And that's exactly what we see here. Okay, let's release the pressure. I don't think it will do anything to the drone. Okay, see if it still flies. So you can see that doubling the pressure about doubles the lift that this drone can generate. That's pretty cool. I didn't think there'd be that much of a difference. So obviously there's gonna be some trade-off because the more pressure there is, that means the more friction there is. And so there's gonna be more air resistance to the blades and everything. So the higher pressure you can get, the more lift you're going to generate. Essentially because there's more air for the blades to push off of and generate lift. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next time. And I'll see you next time.